I've been reflecting a little bit today on all these kind of labels that psychologists give to people. I mean, basically, I was researching a little bit more on narcissism and um, the narcissistic harem of um, people they keep around. And I kind of realised that kind of nearly all the labels myself as well if I read about love addict I can see how I've done that and, and commitment issues and narcissism and weak boundaries I can kind of see how I've dipped in and out of all of these things in, in different relation experiences and I'm a little bit wary about all the labels that we put on these things and we also say oh well, this person can't change and a narcissist can't grow and I mean, when I look at all of these kind of labels that we give to all these different personality traits and, and relating issues, then really the key centre of all of them is need need to be validated from, from externally, like lack of self-worth on an internal level and needing to seek it from outside places. For example, in a narcissist connection, you've got the selfish versus the overgiver. But I mean, really, neither person is actually loving unconditionally, and neither is holding side because one's overgiving and then gets resentful, and because they're overgiving in an, in an effort to feel loved, and the other person is being selfish because they need to feel loved as well. So it's this kind of needing to feel loved externally because there's a lack of love internally. And it seems to me that kind of almost the labels that are given to all these different things, like sociopath, narcissist, love addict, love avoidant, they're, they're a little bit dangerous because then you are boxing and labelling when I really believe it goes deeper than all of that. And really at the core of it all, all these people with all these different labels don't find their own self-validation and need it from others and the way they go about in getting it varies from fearing commitment and need, um, selfishness needing to overgive so all the ways that it's done is different but it's kind of like <laughs> at the core of it all it's because they're not able to find it themselves within so that's really what I wanted to make this video on today like successful people in life People that are really successful, they're successful because they don't take things personally. It's in relationships, in jobs. If somebody doesn't give them the respect they need or the validation they need or the right treatment or they're not interested in them, then they're just like, okay, next. The same with work. If a job doesn't happen, it's like, oh, I wasn't suited for it. Whereas somebody with issues... Um, and validation issues is like, oh no, you know, why didn't they want me? And why didn't they book hire me for a job? Is it because I'm not good enough? Is it because my work's this? Is it because it's rubbish? Um, why didn't they want to date me? Is it because I'm too fat? Is it because I'm too old? Is it because I'm not pretty enough? It's like they'll waste countless hours, days, months, years trying to find out the fault within them as to why they didn't get accepted whereas somebody who's super successful and healed doesn't even care they don't need to they don't make it about themselves they don't make it personal on that level they're just like oh they didn't feel a connection or they're not available or I'm not right for that job and then they just move forward and don't waste time thinking about it and assessing it and analyzing what part of them it was that was the problem and I think a big problem with spiritual connections is also a lot of people that go into through these connections are quite are empaths. So I think it makes it that it makes it harder because if you're empathing somebody's feelings and you can feel that they feel something for you and you can feel that there's something there, it's easy to forget that the actions don't back it up and it's even easier to get lost in those situations and those connections because it really is about then integrating the physical and the emotional and the spiritual of being like, well, I feel this, I can feel what they're thinking and using the strength of that, but not uh, allowing yourself to lose all your earthly kind of physical boundaries because I do still think personal boundaries are super important. 
at a certain point you won't even need the personal boundaries because it will be so strongly indented into you once you've started to um, apply them. People will already know not to test your boundaries because it will be in your vibration and you will not be attracting in people that need to test your boundaries. But until you get to that point, you need to get used to putting them down because that's the lesson. And then once you've got through the lesson, that's why sometimes it's not great to talk to really, really evolved people because they might not need to set boundaries. They'll be like, oh, you don't need to set boundaries. But that's probably because they've already elevated their... Um, energy not to need to attract in people that will test their boundaries so they'll never need to set them it's like once your vibration is like that you will you, you don't need to be tested but to get there there's all different routes to get there and, and often I feel like physically putting down your own personal boundaries is important to that it, um, to healing yourself because it's all about feeling worthy and validating yourself from within and often personal boundaries are a step forward towards that because it makes you feel more powerful makes you feel make you honoring yourself and it's all connected to self-love um so basically what we need to do is we need to claim the worthiness within and not wait around for another to give us to to give it to us because we'll just be waiting forever if we're waiting for somebody else to to make us feel worthy or to tell us we're worthy or to show us we're worthy we'll be waiting around freaking forever <laughs> Because it's not going to happen until we find it within, until we find our own worthiness and then others will start to see our worthiness and they'll start to step forwards as well. Like I said, it's hard to feel worthy overnight and uh, personal boundaries, I feel, are a really important start because they allow you to kind of understand your own value and your own worth of what you will and won't tolerate. And then down the line, you won't need to have to do that anymore, but I think it's a really good way of starting to find and value yourself. Um, so yeah I just feel like all these different labels that we put on as psychologists like I don't coach like that I try to look at the root and the core of the issue because everybody has a similar core and, and, a, and a core issue like even in a relationship where one's selfish and maybe displaying narcissistic tendencies and one is over giving you'll probably find that the core of the issue is the same, that neither feels worthy without the validation of others. So one needs like a harem of people around constantly validating them, making them feel worthy and they can't bear to let go of them because it makes them feel lesser. And the other over gives in the hope that, you know, they'll be recognised and validated. And so the core issues are the same. And I think a lot of people have have issues with truly loving and accepting yourself and you don't have to go around and say I'm the best you know it's just about pure acceptance of self and not needing to have yourself validated by somebody else just being strong enough that you are who you are you know there's numerous examples of the most attractive rich women that are hurt every day um, or can't get into successful relationships or can't hold down a job and then there'll be people that you might look at and think you know, how did, how have they got what they've got, but they just didn't doubt themselves. They um, just went out there, they wanted what they wanted, they didn't settle for anything less, and if somebody rejected them on the way, they didn't waste time mulling over why they were rejected, they just said, not for me, and they moved forward. It's like, I feel this is a big thing that we all need to kind of, it, we need to stop making other people's issues about us, and that we're not good enough, because... Or even not even other people's issues. Other people's issues are just other people not accepting us. You know, it, as soon as we can just move forwards from that, we can move into people that do accept us. And once we have that worthiness, we'll just attract the same people with a different pattern or new people. So, yeah, I just want to kind of say that I just don't really feel the labels apply that you get for all these different issues because the core root of them all they are just about needing to validate from within and not seeking outside for validation i think the reason that we have even more problems with connections now is because there's so many ways that we can look outside of ourselves now there's social media dating apps dating sites um so many ways to kind of fill our time seeking for validation from other people how many likes have i got how many followers have i got who have I got chatting to me on this dating app, you know? 
it's all different ways of not really having to go and find it within. And that's what I wanted this video to be about anyway. So hope everyone's doing well and um, I'll talk to you soon.